It's JV Joe from South Jersey's Hip Music Channel, Sojo1049, and right now on the phone, we've got the Keto Guido himself, Vinny from the Jersey Shore. How's it going, man? Hi, how you doing? First off, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day. <laughs> no, it's all good. Before we jump into Jersey Shore, I gotta ask you, okay, Keto Guido, what spurred the transformation? It just, I've, I've been doing this sort of something like it for like a couple of years. Um, I just learned that it makes me feel better when I don't like have all those heavy carbs in my body and then um just keto itself became like a big fad and a big trend and uh you know i was like oh i've been doing this for a while and and then people just are all into it now you know i follow you on instagram and i fo actually follow keto guido on instagram too and you make me want to do this yeah that's what it kind of turned into I, I you know because um it's not really like um a nutritionist or like a bodybuilder it's almost like a, it's like an awareness thing. It's like about like just kind of when you eliminate certain food groups, you feel a lot better, you know. So it's kind of it's cool. It's not like uh, this is my diet plan. It's just like an overall kind of thing that I practice and preach, and uh, it helps a lot of people actually. I should definitely take a page out of your book and start working on that summer 2019 bod. But now let's get to Jersey Shore family vacation. How's life been being back and reunited with everybody? been awesome you know it's been um definitely the best seasons i think we've ever had because we're a real family now you know we actually like really care about each other we um we kind of missed each other over the years we appreciate what this whole thing is for us so when we get back in there we were ready to do it you know i mean maybe people have done reunions in the past where you know they were like oh god let's do this for the paycheck kind of thing you know what i mean yeah um, yeah and there was some of that i'm not gonna lie but <laughs> uh we also like they caught us at a time where like i said we really do care about each other and just in case if people are living under a rock when can they catch jersey shore family vacation then thursdays 8 p.m on mtv what were you doing during your off time the last few years before you guys got back into it i was just doing other projects like I right after Jersey Shore ended I had a show on MTV called the show with Vinny um, and then I was like doing like podcasting and taking improv classes and trying to get more into like you know sharpen my skills to be hosting and comedy space there was some like a lot of dead time during those some of the years then um, in 2000 and like 15, uh, no, I'm sorry, 2016-ish, I, um, I had another show with my mom on the cooking channel uh -huh. where we were, like, traveling around trying out different foods and stuff. So I was kind of keeping busy um, for a little while, but nothing is like when we do Jersey Shore, you know? Like, that kind of, it's like the band is back together. It's, it's a whole other animal. Going back on the first season of Family Vacation, it looks like you kind of grew closer to mike you know the situation because you two were i guess closer distance wise uh, is that accurate well the whole distance thing like if you see us a lot of that's because when um we're filming like our hometown packages like um when you see us leave like to go to the shore you know what i mean yeah um me and mike are like the two guys that are in the same spot ronnie and paulie are in vegas so that's usually how that goes. Like, you know, we kind of just, like, link up with whoever's in the area. But with that happening, me and him actually really did become close. And he's a great guy now. We get along better than ever. And I do hang out with him on even off days. He comes to my house. I go to eat with him. So we really are friends. <laughs> and you definitely see that through your social media, your Instagram, and even on the show whenever the cameras are catching that. In this season, I find it hysterical. You kind of been like a food coach for him, trying to tame him at dinner, and he just kind of goes all out, does whatever he wants. He's living his best life. Is it really hard to tame the beast? Yeah, there is no taming that man. <laughs> um, the thing is, I do that because him and his fiance, they ask me to do that. They're like, oh, um, look after Mike. You know, he has a wedding coming up. That's why, like, I kind of become such, like, a food Nazi with him. But uh, then once he gets his first hit of a carb... It's all over from there. He, he's one extreme or the other. He has, like, a addictive personality. And, you know, it's just, there's no stopping that, man. <laughs> I can, like, kind of have a little peace and be like, all right, I'm on vacation. I had it. I'm done. He's, like, either all in or all out. Uh, sounds like me and Mike would be really, really great friends. <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, I try, but it's frustrating. <laughs> now, looking at somebody who looks like they change, but from the first few episodes, it seems like they haven't that much. Angelina's back in the mix. What's that bit like? I mean, she definitely, I don't really get along with her, but... <laughs> Still? She adds, like, a, nah, a funny, <laughs> ratchet, filthy element to the show. And as a someone who's a fan of comedy and a fan of just, you know entertainment I, I i see why she's there and i appreciate what she does but uh I, you know she's not my cup of tea in general <laughs> so then Polly being the prank war champ was him bringing angelina the most exciting thing you've seen on this season so far or the last two seasons oh no i mean that was like the wackest thing i've ever seen <laughs> <laughs> um yeah exciting is not the word um but it's it could be entertaining Miami was just like one thing after the next. Um, we had a streak where we were like, you know, going to the Bahamas. And then we came home and then my mom and Uncle Nino were there. And then like the next day, Mike was getting engaged to Lauren. Like there's a lot of things happening back to back. And this season kind of took like a more serious turn because everything happening with Ron. So, you know, we're trying to like have those moments on this season, but... Mm -hmm. Vegas was, was kind of tough, like, you know, and then I think, though, I, I didn't see the episodes, honestly, but I'm pretty sure that, like, it starts to, you know, because I remember we did a, a bunch of exciting things, so some exciting things start to happen. <laughs> so, speaking, you brought up family. Is it weird seeing everybody around you now grow up and have kids, and does it kind of make you think about where you are in your life, starting a family, possibly, with somebody having kids of your own one day? It makes me not want to do that, and I'm not saying that in, like, a... <laughs> a douchey way like you know i kind of get to live vicariously through them and they have a lot you know what i'm saying like it's a lot they have the kids they're at they, you know the women are different they have the, those parts in their life but even seeing ron like ron had to drastically have like a wake-up call really quick you yeah. know what i mean yeah. and uh you know i, I kind of like my little life right now i'm 30 i'm, I'm still working on myself i really want to figure out like what exactly my career is and everything but at the same time, like, see, there is a positive note, like, seeing them do all that, it's like, oh, like, that's awesome, you know what I mean? Like, one day, uh, um, I'll definitely partake in that. So you'll take the title of Cool Uncle Vinny in the meantime then, right? Oh, 100%. <laughs> my cousin Vinny, my cousin Vinny. My cousin, <laughs> look at that, see? And it all comes full <laughs> circle. Vinny, I thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day. I wish you nothing but the best of luck in everything that you do. And we will see you Thursdays on MTV for Jersey Shore Family Vacation. Yeah, man. Hop on that keto, all right? <laughs> um, you know what? I'm really gonna. All right. All right, Vinny. Thank you. Take care. Right. Thank you. Bye.